Yeah, I finally made it, rank 100. It's just a number, I know, but it was a personal achievement that I was working on. Um, I always wanted to be rank 100 in Battlefield 3, but because the ranking there took so much longer, I just made it like to 57 or something like that, and that was like after one and a half years. So this ranking system is so much different. You rank up much, much faster, and it also had like a gazillion double XP weekends. So we just have a double XP weekend again, and that allowed me to rank up the last two ranks that I was missing to finally get rank 100. And it's funny, there is so many people that actually think that a, a higher rank means that someone is better and that's really not true it has nothing to do with you being better in the military in the real life yes it has a lot to do with that but not that you're better as a person that but that you have learned a lot more stuff and you have achieved some things that's basically what it means it doesn't mean that you a better person than someone else which a lot of people think when they have like uh, medals and stuff like that that they're better than everyone else and that's not how this is meant but in the game it's it's in the game uh industry it's the same thing you know ranks don't mean anything it means that you just have way more hours under your belt than someone else and maybe it can make you better because you know you have way more experience you've played a game much longer than someone else which means you have most likely encountered uh, a lot more scenarios and issues and you know things that have made you approach the game differently than if you have not played as many hours but you know i see over and over people that are rank you know four five ten and they're way better than me and uh, or way better than anyone that's ranked way higher because they're just really skilled players so you know, never get intimidated by someone who's ranked higher than you uh, because it doesn't mean anything. Uh, like I said, for me, it was a personal uh, achievement and I wanted to have that on video just for myself because I thought it was kind of fun. And um, I did the same um, a long time ago when I um, prestiged, uh, became, pre uh, turned pre into prestige 10 on uh, Modern Warfare 2 and I prestiged again later and I didn't record it again and I just wanted to have that once. The first time I, I did Prestige 10 I was like wow I gotta just have that on, on video and I think the other reason I also did it because in Call of Duty a lot of people um, uh, were always thinking that everyone who is Prestige 10 has is some kind of cheater or didn't uh, legitimately um, earn that Prestige and I wanted to kind of prove that I did not hack that. I, I really did play that long to achieve that prestige. And um, I never put that on YouTube. That was before my YouTube days. That's just something for myself. I was like, you know, if one of my friends always says, yeah, you know, you probably just cheated that. I can say, hey, look here, this is really how I really made, did it. And um, yeah, this, this is not to prove here this video. This is just for myself. It's always fun. I like to go back later, you know, months, months later and rewatch some of the videos of some great gaming uh, moments, just, you know, when I feel like it. And uh, it's funny to look back and, and see how you did and you're like, oh my God, why did I, I, did not, why did I do it this way? Why did I not see that guy over there? And I wouldn't have died if I would have ran this way and stuff like that. So like I mentioned before, you know, you can learn a lot by watching yourself uh, do things. And um, that's funny, you know, when I used to do bodybuilding, I used to compete in bodybuilding three times. Um, I uh, used to compete um, naturally, which means I never took any uh, enhancement drugs or anything like this. I just did it for fun. I also just did it for myself. I didn't do it to prove anything to anyone. Um, I just... Uh, love the sport i love weightlifting i still do uh, i just can't do as much anymore because i hurt myself a lot doing too many sports and or too much sport and that's just uh you know it's sport is fun but sport uh, is really hard on the body and it's not really good for the body if uh you know don't if you do too much of it and um, anyway so you know even in bodybuilding you know that bodybuilders when they do their posing routine and i'm pretty sure there's other um you know performance uh, sports where you need to see yourself in order to improve 
you know, whenever you have to do certain movements or so or perform. And, and I'm sure, you know, theater um, artists and stuff like that, or even musicians probably, when they want to look how they look on stage, they have to have someone film them or film themselves and then watch it. And, and you know, the way you move is never how other people see you. You need to basically uh, film it and then you're like, you know, look at it and you're like, wow, I thought I looked different or I didn't know this looks so weird when I move, I have to change it. And that's how you can improve. You can improve how your body moves. You know, dancers, I'm 100% I'm sure do the same thing, you know, break dancers, all kinds of performers. Uh, do this thing and that's you know when you play video games uh, you know even if you are not someone who thinks about putting the videos on YouTube because you don't you know have the time or the interest or whatnot uh, you just don't want to have your name out there um, you know if you can somehow you know record you yourself gaming uh, and you, you think you're not good enough uh, you know record yourself and watch yourself and see how you really do and why you, you failed at certain points why you got shot you know maybe you can learn from that I've learned a lot from that you know I still have a lot to learn there's still a lot of gamers out there that I look up to and I'm like wow I, you know I want to be like them you know I want to be a rush in a room with 10 enemies in it and take every single one of them down easy peasy you know uh, that's something that I probably always will dream about and that's probably never gonna happen you know we girls a lot of times just don't have the reflexes that guys have for some reason which is weird then uh, you know in real life we are supposed to have the better reflexes they've tested that many times you know when something falls down and we have to catch it we usually do better than men but in games um, you know it's for some reason we just don't we, I don't know. Uh, for me, it's also probably has a lot to do with the hand-eye coordination, which I lack because I cannot see 3D. I can only see 2D. And so um, I have a really hard time to a lot of times uh, know what the difference is between me and the thing I want to deal with. Um, I just did a glass blowing class uh, last weekend and I was uh, supposed to hold the glass into the flame and I wasn't able to see if the piece of glass that I was holding was below the flame, in the flame or above the flame. It was really hard for me to just, um, you know, estimate the, the, the distance from, you know, my eyes to the glass of the flame. Uh, that kind of stuff and that's becomes really really hard uh, stuff like that for me and that's why I don't really do well in ball sports I was really good in kicking the soccer ball around and, and shoot goals and stuff like that but when someone throws me a ball you know and I have to catch it I have a really really hard time so when I was in therapy the other day and the therapist told me or oh, the other day you know six months ago I had to go to therapy uh, be because of my knees being all busted and the guy was like well let's do some exercise uh, let's you know stand on one leg and then uh, uh, you know throw this ball onto the wall and when he bounces back catch it catch it or it was not a wall it was a trampoline I had to throw the ball onto a trampoline surface when he bounces back catch it I think with one hand it was like some really crazy exercise and I'm like Okay, I, I can already tell you this is n probably not going to work, but I try and I tried and I failed miserably. I failed like three, four times and he's like, never mind, we're going to try something else. So anyway, yeah, that's the thing when you see 2D only and um, that's also the reason why, uh, you know, I'm always hoping that the world is not going to say, now we're going to turn everything into 3D like TVs and you know, movie theaters, everything is going to be 3D and that's going to be the only way you can watch things. I'll be screwed. I'll be like, I can't see anything, you know. Um, I, you know, was looking at a projector the other day, you know, maybe eventually get a new projector. My projector works uh, like a charm right now, but I know, you know, every technical gadget eventually breaks. And um, uh, my very, very first projector I've ever had all of a sudden um, just burned down on me and I had to get a new one and this one that I have now I've had for four years and I hope it goes for another year or two but I, you know I don't take that for granted so once this projector burns out I have to get a new one and so I'm already kind of keeping my eye on the market what's out there uh, to an affordable price but does really well it's a really good gaming projector and 
you know, it's crazy. It's like, oh, they're, they're like, you know, 3D projectors and 3D this and 3D that and, you know, 3D glasses and 3D TVs and 3D everything. And I'm like, please <laughs> make it so that it's always available in 2D. And I'm pretty sure they have to because I'm not the only one who has this issue. But it sure would be pretty sucky if, you know, we people that have problems seeing 3D uh, would be stuck with 3D only uh, things and we would have to find other hob hobbies and maybe that's not such a bad thing. I do have enough other hobbies, believe me. So I hope you enjoyed this little match and I hope I didn't annoy you with my babbling and hopefully I see you next time. Adios, my friends.